dog. Hello, YouTubers. So this is Gil. I hope you guys are having a good um, first of January 19, 2019. So I remember specifically what happened 30 years ago. So exactly 30 years ago, January 1st, 2000 or 1989. I was riding my scooter to work, to McDonald's, my white Elite 80 scooter. I was riding my scooter in the morning. It was the first morning shift, or the only morning shift that I ever worked in McDonald's during the time that I had the job for. So, in the morning, I was riding along Shadow Oak Street in Covina area, in the West Covina area. And I stopped at the stop sign, and then I proceeded on to Amar, Amar Street. And then next thing I know, I have this policeman stopping me. This policeman stopped me. And then t basically telling me that I rolled through this stop sign, yeah, or whatever. And, you know, it's because I didn't completely stop, you know, apparently, you know. You know, the way they always... They're, they're critical about all these little things that we don't do, you know. Anyways, so right now I'm at the Stater Brothers. So, I mean, and then the other thing that I remember happening 30 years ago was the fact that the charger of my camcorder was broken because I broke it. You know, I broke the charger. But, I mean, it's like when I dropped it one time, it, it kind of cracked the, it cracked the um, circuit board of the... Um, <clears throat> charger so it cracked it and so I got into it and and I thought that I thought that once the thing is cracked there's no way to fix it you know so I thought that there's not gonna be any way to fix it so I just broke it more only for me to regret it I regret doing that because it was gonna they, they told me because they told me that it was fixable, you know, the charger was fixable, because all they had to do is solder it, but I didn't know that, you know, so anyway, so I just ordered a new charger only to be slapped, saying that it's going to be $140 to get a new one, so I paid $20, um, $20, um, what do we call it, um, deposit, only, only to later on learn the hard way that I was never going to get that charger from that place that I ordered it at because it went bankrupt, you know. It was not until five months later that I realized it was bankrupt and so I had to go buy another. And so I had to go get a charger somewhere else. Well, I'm back home. Well, anyway, so with the story about the charger... If I would have knew that that I was never going to get that charger there, or if they would have been telling me that it was going to be um, going bankrupt or whatever, I, I would have I would have went right away to get another one. But I was just waiting because I didn't want to lose out on the $20, you know. And, by, and besides, I didn't know much about ordering and stuff like that, you know. I didn't know much about that. I was 19 years old then, you know. So I just remember that the ticket that I got on the 1st of January, 1989. Dang, I tell you. So, yeah, I can remember those days. On my white scooter. And then I remember particularly, you know, how happy I was with the life. I was pretty happy, I guess, you know. And then, anyway, so I had to order the charger. I wasn't happy about discovering how much it was going to cost to buy this new charger for my VHS camcorder, $140, you know, because I thought, I thought we could buy things like those for like maybe 40, like 30 bucks, you know, I thought it was not more than like 30 bucks back in my day, but to get slapped on my face to discover that it was $140 to buy that, that's $1989. So in today's dollars, it's equivalent to like 320, you know, around there. Well, anyway, working at McDonald's, making $4.25 an hour. So, anyways, uh, I mean, I was waiting for this charger. So, 
And then, and then it was not until five months later, sadly, that I finally got a charger because it took me five months or four months to discover that this place was closed down and I was not going to get it. It took me that long for me to find out because I, I kept calling this um, place, kept calling the place that I ordered the charger at. And they kept telling me it's gonna come, it's gonna come. So I took their word for it, you know. So I mean, but taking too long, and I was complaining about it taking too long. And they said, well, I mean, it's gonna come, you know. But so they weren't telling me that it was gonna close down. So I mean, this was escalating to three months, you know, like months, you know, because I needed to get that charger so I could keep making my videos, you know, my vlogs of 1989, you know. <laughs> well, anyway. So going on to, um, so going on to, um, I gotta turn on this phone. Yeah, so going on to like five months later, that's when, that's when I discovered that the place was like closed down, you know, completely like closed down, you know. That's when I discovered all the bars are on it and, and it's like the place looked like it was, like going like going on sale or something you know shit and so that's when um, i knew that i was not gonna get it i mean it took me that long to finally find out that i was not gonna get it five months so i had to go to i had to go find another place to order that charger for my camcorder and so and so um i found the place in montclair and so I mean, I ordered ordered it, and, and they needed another twenty bucks for for me, and uh, so I lost out on the twenty dollar deposit on the first place that I went to. So I mean, I I had to get a charger. I had to get one, regardless of what it took to get it. So I went over there and ordered it, and then within a week I got the damn thing. I got the charger within a week. I wish the first place would have done that. And dumbasses. <laughs> I was pretty upset you know, because they kept giving me the runaround, you know, back then, you know, I mean, shit, you know, they would have told me, but, but the thing was, at the time when I deposited $20, you know, I didn't want to lose out on the $20, but I was expecting it to come, but I mean, they kept giving me the runaround, you know, and, and so, and I didn't know where to go, where else I could go, so anyway, so I got it, so now for the result of all this, the damage had been done in the little part of me that where I, I don't have any videos from um, from around January 1989 till May 1989. So sadly, because of all this that's happened about the charger and the and the salesman giving me the run around, telling me that it's gonna come, it's gonna come, and five months it takes five months for me to realize that I'm never going to get it because I kept waiting so I mean the damage had been done on my part where I don't I'm not gonna I don't have any videos because I didn't have a charger back then you know my camcorder was not working at the time starting from January well starting after Christmas of 1988 until um until May of 1989 so sadly I don't have any videos during that time, I have very few, very little bit, very little, you know, very little, because, you know, during those times while I was waiting for the charger to come up, I mean, I would go ahead and plug in my camcorder, like, to a VCR, and then the battery would have a little bit of charge, and I would go ahead and record whatever I can, and it would only typically be a couple minutes at a time, you know, but in the same room. Well, anyway, so that's the story of my part of what I remember 30 years ago. So I hope you liked this video and and I hope you guys are having a happy new year. Happy new year. This is January 1st, 2019 now. 2019. Damn. So everything's now a new year older. Yeah. Okay.
to use this camera but now I figured a way to be able to use it once again and I get to use it for New Year's Eve and here's a charger now in my car. oh man the battery's low oh. It's two more days before 1989, and then it's not going to be a 1988 anymore. Oh man, just two days, huh? For what? Before New Year's, before it's 
Oh, but they had enough power now. watch the old videos I know that I move the camera so much that I don't like it so now I'm going to get working on keeping the camera still and the battery going to die on me now that I'm going to work on it well goodbye haired this is the 30th today and the battery is going to die already man well, at least I charged it, though. Well, but it's almost New Year's Eve, man. Tomorrow, it's gonna be New Year's Eve very soon, I know. What? I hope this thing doesn't, the battery doesn't run out because Why? it runs out very quickly. Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah. I'm recording on the last day of 1988. That's cool. This is the last day. 1988? Yeah. Yes.
There's not enough light in here because the battery is low. Oh my gosh. My favorite slayer. I know I like her. Uh, it is 1989. Can we see the movie? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Are you recording now? Can I record you? No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do something, man. I barely got up right now. What? You did? Oh, that's a rare. That's nothing that I don't do very often.
was just kidding with the kid. I said, no. So I heard that. Mommy, you didn't get it? I missed it? It's almost paid for. Look at this mess.
This is the time. <coughs> anyway, the TV, my my TV is almost paid for. I just owe about fifty-five bucks for it. And that's all I owe. Fifty-five bucks, and it'll be paid for. Uh oh. 